Hi, I'm Mariangela da Conto and welcome back to Earth from Space from the ESA Web TV studios. This week, Copernicus Sentinel-2 takes us over Ries Crater in Germany. Approximately 50 million years ago, an asteroid crashed through Earth's atmosphere over this area in southern Germany. The high-speed impact formed what is now known as the Ries Crater. Although difficult to spot at first, the result of the impact is still visible today. With a diameter of 26 kilometers, the rim of the crater can be seen as a semicircular ring in the image, delineated by a dark green forest in the south. The flat crater floor is ideally suited for agricultural use and the corresponding fields mark the crater's extent. The medieval town of Nördlingen was built in its depression. The historical center, approximately one kilometer wide, appears as a reddish circle visible with its red rooftops surrounded by a wall. The asteroid was estimated to be traveling at 70,000 kilometers per hour, and when it made impact with Earth, the high-speed force exposed the rock to intense pressure and heat, over 25,000 degrees. This led to the creation of over 70,000 tons of microscopic diamonds in its impact, each around 0.2 millimeters in size. Overlooked by the town's inhabitants, the stone buildings were constructed almost entirely with diamond-encrusted rock. For centuries, Nördlingen locals believed the town was built in the crater of a volcano, until the 1960s, when two American scientists proved that the depression was in fact caused by a meteorite impact. Today, visitors around the world gather to marvel at this glittering town, also known as the backdrop to the original Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory film. Copernicus Sentinel-2 is a two-satellite mission. Each satellite carries a high-resolution camera that images Earth's surface in 13 spectral bands. Data from Copernicus Sentinel-2 can help monitor changes in land cover. And that's all for today. I'm Mariangela da Conto. Thanks for watching and see you next week.